an overkill for good reasons. I'm getting power to my studio. Tell me about doors. The latest model, quite heavy doors, they're obviously about 200 kg each. One would be here, one would be there, one would be there. This is so exciting! What you're looking at, it's a simulation of a fire in a recording studio. Those are the doors that are in charge of keeping the fire out. This is power, baby. In here, it feels already like a room. It's got its own sound. Welcome in, Jason and Tom. What we're trying to assess here is if we have done a good job in preparing doors to be installed. How heavy are those doors again? They're approximately 200 kilos. 200 kilos. So we better build this right. Is that a thumbs up? Yeah, good, perfect. good. Can we have a quick conversation about colors? What I've done is I've gotten this solid uncoated formula guy. As long as it's got the round number on there, which means we can color match. Right. Exactly the color will be the round number. So I'm, I'm thinking 3517U. Mm, that is a nice color. So we're going to go yes, 3517U Pantone. I think we got our color. You know what would be amazing? If I could have a sample of that color on just a piece of metal and maybe a couple of different shades yeah. so that I can just see them. Can we do that? Yeah, yeah. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do we can do that. Three different colors, yeah. three different reds, and we'll do them in matte and satin. Matte and satin, I'm curious to see that. Thank you for coming around. IAC Acoustics, baby. Today I'm going to check the making of my studio doors. I am driving all the way up to Cambridge and I'm gonna witness the fire testing of my doors. The doors that I'm installing are kindly provided by IAC Acoustics and they're like a brand new model. Everything needs to be fireproof. Now they're gonna test for the first time how resilient the doors are. So they're going to subject those doors to huge amounts of fire and see how they react and today we're gonna see that happen let's hit it first up we pick up dominic my video expert hello sir good morning a gorgeous day by the way isn't it countryside awesome this is it boom we're there I'm so excited. So are we gonna set some doors on fire today? Yes, that's the plan. Yeah. All right. And that is our double door. That's the door. That's our door. What they're doing at the moment is they're putting on the thermocouples and that will monitor all of the radiation temperatures. If you see just behind here is a little screen. And when the test is running, you can see the temperature on each one of those thermocouples. They've got a monitoring room upstairs. They'll be monitoring it and looking out for if one of those thermocouples breaks or goes over the limit for standards that we're testing to. And that's when they'll call a failure on integrity of the door. So typically what will happen is certain parts of the door are designed to last for a certain period of time. Uh, we've added certain elements in so it extends the duration of the door as a whole. Things will change, things will crack, things will fall off, but they're designed to, at that moment, Touch wood. Yeah. Let's check out the furnace where they're gonna burn Dr. Mix's doors. This is the furnace. This is the furnace we'll be using, the bigger furnace. This is what my doors will look like then. Well, yeah. Fort Knox. And this is where the fire is coming from. You can cook a giant pizza in this. What temperatures do we get? 1200 degrees. 1200 degrees. I think it's to 800 in three minutes. Wow. How does this thing get hot? And what we do is we pump gas in 
from the tank, we use propane, come through our gas system and out these 12 holes. And we can adjust the air and the gas mixture. These are called dampers. They open to let some of the heat and the pressure out so that you can control it on a controlled curve. And what are these things that you're putting in? Thermocouples. We monitor the temperature of the furnace as the test goes off. So we've got one every one and a half square metres. This frame is three metres high and three metres wide. Fire it up, Doc! So, the furnace is about to get ignited. It's time for me to leave. things to do before uh, starting the test. In the meantime, we're gonna go check the reverberation room, which is it's where we test products uh, and how much sound transmits through the product. I'm very much interested in that. Let's go. It's pretty cool. Let's go. So you're looking at the source room of the transmission suite. Uh, we have our microphone and speaker in here. This is where we'll generate pink noise, which is then transmitted through our test opening. And then we will then be picking that up on the microphone on the opposite side. All right, so you can see how much noise you're putting through and how much the door is blocking. Yes. So this is where AIC Acoustics test their doors? It will be, yes. We recently designed, built and commissioned this chamber for Cambridge Acoustics. Your doors, however, were done in a slightly different laboratory, somewhere else, but it's the same process. And what are the screens for? So these are deflectors up here, so they're just to encourage sound to propagate around and increase the reverb. This is so cool. This is a rotating boom, so rather than having lots of different mics in different positions, you have one just... mic, one boom, and it swings around. Mm -hmm. So much easier. You could do the impulse for some pretty interesting reverbs here, right? Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Shall we go back to the fire test? Yeah, let's do it. Yes. Fire We're now. back in the room. We're about to start fireworks. Everything's set to go. Looks like you're about to fly off in outer space. My cash pass this Start the test. We'll ask you to stay in the view and move just while starting the room. Then after that, you're more than welcome to come out. You can go as close to the specimen as you like. Okay, so if you make your way back in, no we'll start our bit. All right, and we're seeing some fire inside. We get two hours of this. <laughs> so it's 200 degrees inside of the furnace right now. 234. And these are all the curves. So now what we're seeing there is condensation. Uh, it's things about breaking the glass, yeah. How many degrees are we at now? Two 400. Minutes. Two minutes in, we're 400 degrees. So this would be like worst case scenario fire. Lots of combustion, lots of fuel on top of it. This is like one of the worst case fires you could have happened. A normal fire wouldn't get this hot this quick, no. Right. Not unless you dump a load of fuel on top of it. Which right. Normally it doesn't happen, touch wood. Okay, so I have to remember to bring some fuel in my room. If you want to fire like this. Because <laughs> yeah. otherwise, what's the point of having this high specs doors, right? Why have the windows become white now? They're actually pyroglass, so they're designed to sort of stop the radiation of heat through. It's a chemical reaction within the glass and how they're layered. We've actually done a lot of thermodynamic research into this door. It's one of the best uses of the pyroglass that we can come up with and how we fit it in our door to get the maximum performance. See the smoke? The heat actually rises more to the top of the door and the furnace itself and it pushes the smoke down because it's cooler and it's trying to exhaust the smoke out. So smoke out the bottom is what we want. Is it okay to go close to it? Yeah. It's cold. So inside 600 degrees, outside cold. Okay, get it. There's a lot of smoke coming out now. It's not toxic smoke. It's not toxic that will die. It gets extracted out, but it, it's still in, it'll be in the room. Yeah. I can really see you feeling the pressure, aren't you? How long have you been working on this doors? 18 months. 
We've got a long history in acoustics, um, 70 years actually last year. We've taken that acoustic knowledge and tried to further our understanding of thermodynamics and fire principles to try and get the best performing acoustic and fire door. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of tests, a lot of iterations, a lot of failure. You need to go through these things to, to finally end up with what we've got here, which I think excellent looking product and hopefully after today we'll perform well. Go back inside. Oh wow. This door, this way. That's it, and you go. Oh my oh, wow. Oh wow. That's a big fire. 900 degrees. Okay. pressure mounting because you know we want to get to one hour if we get to one hour without failure and doors are good 49 minutes in almost a thousand degrees that looks dangerous 10 minutes left Woo! I'm scared I know <laughs> look at you what happens if we don't get to one hour every 15 minutes you can get an extended fire certificate you can get a 15 minute rated door but who wants a 15 minute rated door you know, no one wants that. They want a 60 minute rated door for both integrity and insulation, normally. So if we hit 60 minutes for integrity and insulation, we've ticked our check boxes, we've got a beautiful door, brand new product, it's the European spec, we can sell it all over the world and everyone's gonna be happy. That's what we want. I believe in you. This is gonna happen, man. Oh, cool. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> the fire brigade would have arrived by this time. Come on. Exactly. You know? What's quite surprising, you've obviously been on the other side. Can you feel the heat coming off? No! It's not hot, is it? No, it's not at all. The furnace is nearly a thousand degrees behind those two doors, which are only about 100 to 150 mil thick, and we can't feel the heat. That's why it takes people like IAC Acoustics to build them. Indeed. Which is what and it wanted. isolates what, 50 dBs? 50 dB acoustic um, isolation, yeah. So this will be the first in our new acoustic doors to come out. The name is to be announced. We haven't yeah. decided on the name yet. If it's boring, it's good. And there's flames everywhere, it's very bad. It's exciting, <laughs> but very bad. If you take a look at the specimen at the moment, you can see all around the tops and the sides of the door, it's blackening, and it looks like there's drips. All of that is parts of inside of the door, the interior of the door, different parts burning away and dripping down, moisture being released and dripping down. Um, and it's what we want to see, actually. It's a good sign that everything inside it is doing the job that it's meant to do. Three minutes and a half, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Here's the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Dr. Mix Studio is safe! <laughs> well done, congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, bang! Right. And the Dr. Mix Studio is safe! It's a success story! So now you know, this is how you test recording studio doors for fire. I'm sure you want to watch this video next.